What happens when Taylor Swift faces a tech glitch in front of a record-breaking crowd? Her response was nothing short of legendary, and fans couldn't get enough. Let's break down the unexpected moment and how the superstar turned a hiccup into one of the night's biggest highlights. Taylor Swift kicked off the final U.S. leg of her record-breaking era's tour with a bang, performing her first of three sold-out shows at the massive Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. But amidst the glitter and music, an unexpected glitch took center stage. Fan footage reveals a rare tech hiccup when Taylor's mic pack malfunctioned mid-performance, catching the audience and crew by surprise. It was serious enough that a crew member rushed onto the stage to fix it. Ever the professional, Taylor kept her cool, lifting her sequined outfit to give the technician access, all while keeping up the energy of her song, Lavender Haze. Once the adjustment was complete, she sweetly thanked the crew member, sparking a massive roar from the crowd as fans applauded her effortless grace and humor. The 34-year-old pop icon's Friday night show marked the beginning of a thrilling three-day run in Indianapolis, with a crowd of 69,000 fans packed into Lucas Oil Stadium. Known for her elaborate performances and attention to detail, Taylor's response to the glitch was just one moment in an otherwise electric show. Dazzling fans, she opened in a sparkling blue and gold leotard, her signature amber boots shimmering under the lights, and transitioned through an array of looks and songs spanning her entire career. Taylor's passion for connecting with her audience was evident, especially as she mixed up her set with everything from her earliest hits to fan favorites from her latest album, Midnight's. Throughout the night, Taylor kept the crowd mesmerized with outfit changes that paid tribute to each era of her career. From the sparkly, pinstripe blazer and rhinestone guitar for the man to the ethereal lavender gown for Speak Now, every detail was carefully crafted to highlight the unique vibe of each album. During her 1989 set, she rocked a fresh pink crop top and miniskirt, bringing back one of her most iconic looks, and later... She slipped into a red dress with a flowing cape to capture the moody essence of folklore and evermore. And if the crowd wasn't already pumped, Taylor revealed an extra special surprise. I was told that tonight you went ahead and broke the all-time attendance record for a concert in this stadium. Fans erupted as she launched into the beloved 10-minute version of All Too Well, a perfect way to mark such a milestone. But Taylor kept the surprises coming. For Indianapolis's unique acoustic set, she blended the albatross from the tortured poets department with Holy Ground from Red, Taylor's version, on guitar. She then switched to the piano for a soulful mashup of Cold as You and Exile. Each song change and costume swap kept the crowd on its toes, especially as Taylor emerged for the Midnight's Era in a bejeweled pink dress and her bold purple fuzzy coat. As Taylor prepared to wrap up her three-hour, hit-pack performance, she was joined by fans, including WNBA star Caitlin Clark and Kansas City Chiefs W.A.G. Chariah Gordon. Her NFL star boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, meanwhile, was all smiles at practice with his team in Kansas City, likely cheering her on from afar. Following the Indiana shows, Taylor's U.S. tour leg will officially conclude, but the adventure isn't over just yet. Swifties in Canada have plenty to look forward to, as she's set to take the stage next month at Toronto's Rogers Centre, with her grand finale planned at Vancouver's BC Place Stadium in early December. And that's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of Taylor's epic handling of the onstage glitch? For all the latest updates, hit that subscribe button and keep it locked here at AU News.